Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this uh, pattern based family. So uh, it's a parametric panel, so you can, you can uh, close it, you can open it. Okay, so today uh, we're going to, uh, once again, we, we're going to place this onto a mass and then we're going to play uh, a, a, some a dynamo to to create some patterns okay so let's do it so first create a, a mass and in this mass I'm going to just draw a reference line I'm just draw it here select this reference line create a form okay so and I'm just going to uh, drag this up a little bit and then divide the surface and also I'm going to change the the number of these grids maybe 30 of them okay so now go back to this pattern based family load this into this mass and then go here to change to uh, place the pat uh, the panels so now you will see we have all these panels and you if you use tab select individual one you can change the panel oh, sorry change the angle so you can close it and open it so you can you can change these so for each individual one okay so of course you don't want to do it you know, uh, by uh, by yourself right so now I'm going to show you how to use dynamo to create some pattern okay so Go first. Uh, let's go to Dynamo. So new. Um, now first we need to select the, the all these uh, panels. So go Revit selection. So here we have this family type. Okay. So let me just change this to manual now. So first select the family. So if you go back to this, select this panel. So it tells you family one so chain uh, select this family one and then we need to select all these uh, panels so it will be all element of this family type so if you click on run and then you will see there are 600 panels okay so now the next step is we need to we're going to use uh, some element we will place a an element along in here and then we use the distance between the element and all these panels to uh, to decide the angle of these panels okay so the first thing we need to get the location of these panels so right click so right click um, and then uh, get the location so uh, Oh, let me uh, element get location so here I think this one get an existing elements location so click on this one so this is the the no um, we can so if we link this one to element to element click around so you will see all these blue dots and don't worry too much about the it yeah it looks like they are offset a little bit but yeah don't worry too much about just pretend they are here okay um okay so the next step is we need to um oh let me just right click set parameter so this will eventually be used to change the angle so let's just click uh, link this element to this element so all the panels okay so this is all the panels this is the location so now parameter name so we just need to go back here so this a is the capital a is the uh, parameter name so let's just double click a oops go back quote yeah so this is the parameter name so now the value so we need to get use the distance to uh, to 
to create a list of value. Okay, so now um, let's just go to this uh, mass. So I'm going to draw something. So I'm going to draw a line on this reference line. So go create, set work plan, pick this, and then let's just draw a line. So um, let me just draw a straight line. So this will be a model line. And then, so um, I'm going to draw it uh, in this area instead of here because um, we will consider all these panels in this area. Okay, so this is a model line. And then now we just need to get the location of this model line. So what uh, I'm going to do is, oh, actually it's, it's just here. So select model element here, this one. Oh, sorry, element, one element, not elements. So click on this one and then you can select and pick this line here. So now you will see this is element uh, three, two, five, four, nine. So which is this line, and then we just need to get the location of this line. So we have we already have one here. So I'm just going to, go to Control C, Control V, and break this link and link this to this. So if I click on Run, and so we have this. So this is a location of this line, and then we just need to get the distance between all these points these dots to this line so uh, let me just try to type this tense so from here you will see this distance to so just link this to this geometry and other to this geometry so if I click on run and we have we will have this list 600 of them so you will see all um, five meter, six meter, seven meter, but for because for the for this parameter we need what we need is an angle. It's between zero degree and ninety. So what we need to do is we need to change this one. We need to remap this list. So right click, remap. Okay, so remap range, so, and then use this one. So we just link this to this. And then we just need to um, give them the minimum angle and the maximum angle. So just double click. So um, let's let's uh, let's say minimum 10 and maximum 90, maybe 80. Okay. So oh, sorry, we need this one. Yeah. So now let's just link this, and then we have. If I click the wrong. Now you will see we have a list of 600, and but this time it becomes the angle between uh, so 10. You will see 10 and 30, 40, 60. Yeah, so this will be a list between 10 to 80 degree. Now we can apply this to this parameter, and then if I click run. This will take um, a few seconds, so because uh, now Revit is changing all the the angles of these panels. Okay. Come on, come on. Yep, almost there. Okay, so now let's have a look. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit hard. So, yeah, sometimes you don't you don't want to see this long because it's very you know um, it's too much. It's it's uh, so you can you can do this. So because these are the location of these panels, so which is here. So this one, so element location, you can right click on it, and here see this one. If you uncheck this one, it will hide all the blue dots, and and then now, yeah, it's easier to see. Now you will see along um, this the path of this line, all these panels are almost closed. Okay, so and then 
all these panels here on this corner and this corner are open and if you change the line so if you change the line all these panel angle will change as well so let's just try this if I drag this up to here and if I click run again this will take another few seconds Yeah, maybe maybe I should reduce the the grid number because currently 600 is a little bit too much, too many uh, panels for my computer. So, yeah, now you will see all these panels behind these lines are closed, and then all the rest, these corner, the edge, those on this edge are open. And also, if if you want to switch, so for example, if I want to uh, open the, those. Uh, in the middle and close the, those on the edge you can just go here swap this so you can just go swap this one um, and move this to top so and link this to this and then if you click run it will switch okay so I'll just click run and let's just wait for another 10 seconds and of course uh, you can use different items. You can use um, lines. You can use dots. You can use elements um, as well. Or maybe you can just pick. Uh, when you select elements, you can pick one of the panel. So now you will see it. all these panels closer, closer to this line becomes open. Okay. And um, I think, yeah, let, let's just try and have another try. So inst uh, let's try spline. Okay, so I'll delete this line. I'll go to maybe south elevation. Let's try if we can do some spline. Uh, maybe do something like this. Okay, so we just need to go back to uh, a Dynamo and select. So let's go to 3D view because I already. So you will see uh, there's still a blue line there. This is a location of the previous line. So you just need to select this one and just don't worry too much about this. So you can turn it off by right click on the location. Yeah, and let's run it again. And yeah, um, this, if you want to have a try with uh, this family, you can find it in probably a week ago, uh, a, a video in uh, a week ago. So you will be able to download this family, this pattern based family. So, yes, yep, very nice. So you will see or see the this shape. So it matches this line and of course um, it looks like actually because the the location so if I right click and preview you will see because this the location the, the blue dots of these panels are not exactly uh, matching which means the um, the pattern here it actually looks like it's, it should be here it should, um, it's offset a little bit as well so yeah just keep in mind if you want to you when you when you try to draw this line maybe just move it move it a little bit the same direction so in this case it's roughly maybe uh, I'm not sure how much but from here to here so if you really want to do something here you need to move this down to about here okay so that's it um, okay, so let's have the last try. Okay, I'll delete this one. So maybe you can just pick, you can pick one of the points. 
and let's try again. Okay, so the last try. I believe this will be a circle kind of pattern because uh, we, we picked one of the panel and then yeah so that's it okay so that's it very uh, it's ah uh, so this is this is it so if you want to have a look and um, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.